Hello, Sean Simon Comic. I've got uh, news with regards to the Church Inn gig. It's going to be on Sunday, the 8th of March uh, at, in Hockley. And uh, we've got a new act coming in. Are you excited? His name's Paul Jennings. Very funny chap. He's been going for years. Uh, I think you're going to like him. So I've got him down. And then we've got Emily Cartwright back. We've got Tal Davis, Hannah Wheatman, Aidan Perrins, Ian Alliston, and exclusively Hayley Casey. Now, uh, I've got space for more acts as well. So if you want to message me, let me know if you're available on the 8th of March. That'd be grand. And uh, if I don't know you, just uh, send me an email with your deets. Shamsamancomic at gmail.com And uh, I'll, have to, I'll have a sift through and uh, see who's most appropriate. I tend to go for really weird acts. So if you're a weirdo, you're more than welcome. Freaky, disturbing... I like that kind of thing. Why not? Hey, eh? Why not? So that's that. Uh, what other update can I give you? Oh, yeah. So I finished off watching Star Wars The Mandalorian. Oh, my God. It was fantastic. Literally brought tears to my eyes about how amazing the final episode was. Are you going to watch it? Shall I spoil it for you? I'll try to say it through non-spoilers, right? So it's uh, set in the Star Wars universe. But it's uh, got this guy. It's Mandalorian. He's got, like, armor on, never takes off his mask. I went into this before, maybe, you know. That's his thing, he never takes his mask. His face must bloody stink. What do you think? He must have a really stinky face. What do you think? Like, his teeth have probably fallen out. He's probably got vitamin D deficiency constantly, having to go to the pharmacist. But they haven't really gone into the medical issues. He looks human, though. You know, he's a Mandalorian. But uh, but then he went and ruined it, didn't he? Because he... He explained to another character, oh, I only take it off in private. But that make it really awkward at parties. Like, how are you supposed to pull a girl? You know, go to dinner with a girl? Would you have, like, a straw? Uh, but he, he had it upgraded, and he looks a lot like Robocop. I'm really excited. Oh, he's he's all shiny, and he walks like Robocop, and he's got, like, a gun, and he's, he, he had a spoiler. He had a jetpack. I mean, is that above Robocop? Because Robocop flies, doesn't he, in part three? But... The Mandalorian flying and he's got like flamethrowers. Ah, it's just too awesome, man. Made me really happy. He's got a badass soundtrack, you know. And uh, they've got like, uh, do you like babies? Some people like babies. Don't they? They've got a baby Yoda. Do you remember Yoda, the old bloke? You know, the little puppy, the one that goes, made the force be with you. Be, 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 be. That one, right? So they've got like a baby version of him and he's strong with the force. And, like the Mandalorian's like this bounty hunter. But he feels sorry for the baby. He's supposed to, the baby originally is, is, is the bounty. But then he looks at his cute little face and he goes, oh, no, I can't let it die. I mean, he doesn't say it out loud because he's wearing a mask. I mean, he could be wearing it, but he'd be all muffled, wouldn't he? I won't know. But anyway, he's like, oh, no, you know, I can't let this baby die. What they're doing, right? And th this scene, I watched it a couple of weeks ago, has haunted me about how evil the universe really is, right? So, like, he hands it over eventually. Spoiler again. He hands it over, and then they're taking it away. He starts feeling guilty, and then he breaks back in, you know, to see what they're doing to it. And there's a scene where the little baby is, like, strapped to a table, and they're going to do experiments on it. And I've just lost faith in humanity, I tell you. I thought, how can they tie a baby little puppet like that and do experiments on it for the Force? I mean, how evil is the universe? I mean, just just walking around in the park, I'm thinking about it. It's bothering me. It's bothering you now. Imagine that. A baby version of Yoda. All right, he's 50, but he's still a child, apparently, because they age differently. But he's, like, he gets about a bit. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a tiny 50-year-old. You should see him walk. Oh, he's ever so cute. So I've been bothered about that. And there was another episode, right? Someone tried to shoot him in the head. What kind of person, right? What kind of fictional puppet person would shoot a baby in the head? I mean, it doesn't matter what the baby's done. I mean, give the baby a chance. A lot of people say, you know, oh, we'd go back in time and kill, you know, baby Hitler. How about you just go back in time and kill Adam and Eve? Just get it over and done with. What do you think? Nobody's really happy. This has gone wrong, hasn't it? It's gone wrong. It's gone on about the Mandalorian. It started off nice, just sank into wiping out humanity again. <sighs> Fuck it. I can't swear it. Oh, sorry for swearing. So anyway, there's another bit, right? The last episode. It was amazing, right? And a stormtrooper punches Baby Yoda in the head several times. And that's been bothering me as well. I was I was tempted to phone the police, but I'm watching the telly. Maybe I need to, like, you know, be more clear about what's real and what isn't. I mean, this fictional baby, this puppet was getting punched. Sick of me, mate. 
Don't punch Baby Yoda. I spent most of this podcast just talking about that. I was thinking of, tell me what you think. I was thinking of going on to Podbean as well. Spoke to Freddie Farrell. Freddie Farrell. I can't even say his name. What's the matter with me? Freddie Farrell. Lovely guy. He's got his own podcast. And I asked him what he's on. And he said, Podbean. People, would it be more accessible, this podcast, if I was on Podbean? I'm guessing it would be. I'll look into it today and then I'll upload on there. I just want more people to come to my gigs and, you know, listen to my my gripes about life. Uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah, Brahms too. Uh, is uh, Brahms, The Boy too? It's a new film. Do you like horror? I love horror films, right? So I was really excited, so I went down, right? Sat down in Odeon. Odeon looks, only the best for charm. Leather seats, lovely jubbly. When I booked the tickets online, it said there was not a single soul in there, so I went for this middle seat, right? So I'm waiting for the film to start. Oh, do you know I don't watch trailers? Do you watch trailers? I will not watch trailers. Trailers give away everything. What's the point of even watching the film? If it says horror film, I'll take my chances, mate. I'm watching it. And then if it's crap, I'll just walk out and then just think about Baby Yoda again being strapped to that chair. Oh, my God, you haven't seen the scene, have you? It's, oh, it's got to me again. Oh, no, no, oh, no. No, baby, you're de- no, 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 no. But he's all right. He's all right. It's just people are evil, aren't they? Oh God. Anyway, so I sit down, and there's some teenagers screaming and chasing each other in the lobby. And I was thinking, there's twelve screens, and they they're definitely going to be in my screen, right? Guess what? Ba pa! They were sat right behind me. I walked into the screen when the film's about to start. Nobody's in my seat this time, unfortunately, so I can't ruin their evening by standing there glaring at them because they're in love all cuddled up. <laughs> I say, that's my chamber, you know. So, like, uh, they, they've, they've Snapchatting, they're taking pictures, they're laughing, they're having a good time. That infuriated me, man. I mean, why are they, why are they so full of life? Why can't they be like me, just an old bitter man, just ready for death? I mean, what's this about? So, like, I had to get security in. And then the security came in. Told them to shut the hell up. And they did, right? And they were dead quiet. And hopefully their spirit's been broken now because they know that there's nasty old men sat in front of them wanting to sleep through a crap film called The Boy 2. And it was rubbish. The film was rubbish. It's just crap. Uh, if you've watched Boy 1, there's like a little doll. More spoilers for you. There's a little doll. It's a haunted doll. Well, guess what? The doll's back, right? This family, they moved to a country estate. The boy finds the uh, the son. He finds the doll uh, covered in crap, right in a in a field in you know, the back. Uh, I think you call them gardens, don't you? <laughs> All right. And then, he, like, he looks at like he's covered in crap and he's drawn to it. So he brings it in. Obviously, he's covered in probably dog crap. And the mum goes, "Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Where did you find that?" And he goes, "I found it in a field. It's dug in, covered in dog crap." So she starts. She does what any mum would do. Rather than burn it straight away, she goes, oh, yeah, bring it in, man. You know, you can have it. Then creepy things start ha- happening. And rather than smash it to pieces with a mallet, she's like, oh, God, what's happening? And she's running around. And her husband's running around like a div. And then there's some bloke with a gun. And there's an Alsatian. It barks a lot because that's all they go down in. Apart from biting people on the bottoms. And then, oh, God. Why did they just smash it apart? Katie Holmes, man, what's the matter with you? Like, she was with Tom Cruise when she... Do you remember that? Tom Cruise. Then she escaped that marriage. Uh, you know, and she's now she's back to making crap crap films. Disappointing me. While well, teenagers cry because Sham told them to shut the hell up via a security guard. Uh, I mean, decorum people, you can laugh outside, can't you? I'm, I'm not against laughing. I mean, you've been to Project Mayhem. I mean, you've laughed once there, haven't you? In the in the four-hour show, eh? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm still recruiting for the 15th of March. So any acts that want to get on that, again, shamsamancomic at gmail.com. Send me a DM. Don't private message me. I get scared of strangers. Yeah, stranger danger. So just send me an email with your details. How many gigs you do, d- did? And uh, I'll pick the strangest people for Project Mayhem. We're going to have a laugh. Hey, Boston Tea Party. It's in Arborn. Oh, we're going to drink some tea. Have some laughs. Oh, it's going to be fantastic, all right? So, uh, oh, yeah, just let me know what you think, if I should go on Podbean or not, if that'll be more accessible, because apparently, so, you know, having YouTube on it drains your battery, and I don't want you to drain your battery. What if you get an important phone call, you know, telling you that you've become the President of the United States? Imagine if that happens. Could that happen? I mean, it happens every day, doesn't it? They let any div in, don't they? Do you like me using the word div? Anyway, I'm off now. Bye.